I am Wangari Kirumba. Uh, I work for NEMA uh, in Kenya. We are uh, really uh, facing uh, various risks uh, arising from changes in climate. Uh, our weather pattern is completely disrupted from what uh, we have experienced in previous years. We depend on agriculture, rain-fed agriculture, and with the unpredictability of rains, we no longer are able in some pockets of the country, many pockets actually, to produce as much food as we've been doing historically. And that uh, has brought in uh, food security issues uh, almost annually in the country. Then too, uh, we depend on uh, water from our natural resources. About 90% of Kenyans draw their water from the rivers. Again, uh, because of uh, changes in uh, w rainfall patterns, we have rivers drying up, so we have communities that go without water. Then we have a whole coastal region that is a key driver of our economic development. Our livelihoods are embedded on our natural patterns, so we have uh, livelihoods lost, lives lost. We are affected from all aspects of uh, the ch changes in climate. DEMA is very, very uh, excited about uh, this arrangement of direct access. In fact, since our accreditation, we have held this accreditation as a, with very high esteem. It's a prestigious status, so to speak. Very important lessons that we have learned in the process. One is the capacities that we have had to build internally to be able, one, to go through uh, an all-inclusive process of identifying project proposal and developing the project document. There are a lot of harnessing of existing uh, capacities internally and, and externally to be able to, 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 to achieve that, something that we didn't have before. This has really raised the profile of the institution. We have so many people speaking about us in relation to the NIE status. And in equal measure has raised a lot of expectations uh, from our institution on delivering adaptation uh, actions. And uh, this uh, generally is good for the institution because now we, uh, we seem more responsive, more relevant uh, to the society. So now we are coming out with another phase of, oh, here we come, uh, with some potential to solve community problems, which is great for us as an institution. This is a, a good beginning uh, to sort of demonstrate that, you know, country-driven processes are the eventual sustainable processes to manage adaptation. Like we all now know, adaptation is an ongoing process. We'll never be done with it. What Adaptation Fund Direct Access has done is to begin the process for us, to give the countries an opportunity to try it out and see. And what we now know is that, yes, we are capable. Right now, as an authority uh, in the NIE uh, realm, we are developing tools of management, M&E frameworks, fiduciary risk management tools, communication strategies for NIE. We thought these were very big terminologies. These are things that can come from consultants. And we have realized we have the internal capacities to do it. Programming, which is typically not a traditional capacity with government institutions, we now know, we now feel that we are able to do it, can develop a proposal, harness our capacities. So yes, it's, it's, it's a good beginning. It's, it's a, to, to a sustainable future, if you ask me. The, the whole uh, world, uh, and especially the global processes, are grappling with issues of climate finance readiness. And I think part of this uh, was addressed by uh, the accreditation process under the Adaptation Fund. As an NIE, we are ready to handle climate finance from uh, whatever sources, be they government-driven or global process-driven, to, 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 to manage climate finance because we now feel we have the, the structure, we have the ideas, we have the capacities, we have uh, uh, the communities working with us, and we, we have the whole citizenry knowing that we are now capable of uh, addressing climate change adaptation. NIE accreditation is a climate finance readiness program uh, in itself. Asante Sana Adaptation Fund.